What's the difference between cookies, local storage, and session storage? Well, they are all ways to store data in the browser itself for use later. I'm going to talk about their differences and then show how to use them in JavaScript. So if you look at this chart here, you can see they all have different capacities. Uh, cookies can only store four kilobytes of data, which is much smaller than local storage and session storage with 10 megabytes and five megabytes. And cookies are, are compatible with much older browsers. C cookies are compatible with browsers that have used HTML4 and 5. And local storage and session storage are only compatible with newer browsers that use HTML5. Cookies are accessible from any window, same with local storage. Session storage are, is only accessible from the same tab that it was created in. And then the expiration date is different. Um, cookies, you have to manually set the expiration date. Local storage never expires until you use JavaScript to clear it or if the user clears it. And session storage uh, expires on tab close because it's, it's just for the session that the user is on. Now, just so you know, local storage and session storage are actually pretty similar, um, just that local storage lasts forever and then session storage expires on tab close. And cookies are the are the one that's a little different, but these last two are the things that are really the most different between cookies and local storage and session storage. Uh, cookies are stored on the browser and server, while local storage and session storage are only stored in the browser. And the interesting thing about cookies is that they are sent to the server on every request. Whenever you load an image, whenever you load a CSS file or a new HTML file, the cookie information is sent to the, the server. However, local storage and session storage, it's never sent to the, the server. Uh, so basically, cookies are best for data and anything that has to be accessed by the server and the local machine, or, or anything you want to set an expiration date on. Local storage is best for basically everything else. Cookies are often used for things such as authentication information that you have to regularly be sending back and forth. But for, for most use cases, you're going to want to use local storage or session storage as long as you're pretty sure all your users will have browsers that use HTML5. But let's see how to use all of them in JavaScript. So if we see the code over here, uh, it just says local storage item, and then these are all key value pairs. So the key is breakfast, the value is cereal. So we can also get the item. So we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna console.log that. And let's open up the browser's log. Okay, look at the bottom here. And we see serial. We just set this local storage item, and then we console.log, and we got the item, breakfast is serial. But I also opened up this here so you can see where in Chrome, you can actually see all the local storage items, and you can see all the cookies right in here. You can see the key and the value right here. Key is breakfast, value is cereal. Here are the different websites that have local storage that we're on. So you can see you can go back and forth between these two. We're on s.codepin.io, but if you're on a different website, it will show that website there. And for, um, for session storage, it's basically you do it just like local storage. Instead of local storage.set item, you type session storage.set item. So for instance, we could actually change this session storage and we can change this to session storage. And then if I run that, I can go down to session storage over here and you'll see the breakfast cereal there too. But let's say um, for session storage, we're going to have eggs. And you can see it changed the value up here. So we still have the, the local storage as serial and the session storage as eggs. Another thing you can do, um, if I change this to uh, dinner, so we're gonna have eggs for dinner and run that. Oh, and then I go back to the session storage over here. Uh, you can see that in the program, we only set the item dinner for eggs, but now we have breakfast eggs and dinner eggs because it, it didn't clear the session storage even though it's not showing in our in our program anymore. Now we're going to change this back to local, go here, and actually I want to have for lunch, I also want to have cereal. And if we run that, 
you'll see breakfast cereal and lunch cereal. But if you ever change the value, it's not going to add a new one. It only adds a new one if you change the key. Okay, now here's how you would remove an item. Okay, so if I run this, you'll see lunch is now gone from the, the local storage here. And then if you ever just want to remove all the items, you just do local storage dot clear. I run that and now everything is gone. We've cleared all the items. So let's go over cookies really quick. So here you're going to say document dot cookie. Okay, and with cookies you also pass in a key value pair. So I went to the cookies section on the, the application dev tools. Uh, and just so you know, if you can't figure out what section the cookies and the session and the local storage are in, you're going to go to um, the application tab here. So the application tab is what's going to show all this. So if I run this, and then if I just refresh this down here, you'll see we have a cookie now. We have this one that's just created automatically, but we have this cookie. Let's move this over so I can see this a little better. The name is hello, the value is true. You can see the domain that it's on, and then the path, and then cookies have expiration dates. So this is, if you don't set an expiration date, I didn't set an expiration date, date here, it's going to just be expire when the session is over. Okay, here I just created another cookie, but I am going to have an expiration date. So the cookie do something only once equals true, and then expires equals, and then you have to put a date here. So if I run that, and then refresh the cookies down here, you'll see do something only once equals true, and now you'll see that there is an expiration date now. So, so you can set that to anything of when you want the cookie to expire, which will make it just automatically delete. Okay, now here's another cookie here, and here we're gonna have the expiration date, and then I'm gonna have one more parameter, which is the path. So here the path was just being set automatically, but now um, we can put the, what path we want it at, and now it's just going to be the root path. And the path is just which, uh, which path on your website the cookie is associated with. So if you just want it associated with certain folders on your website, you can do that. And another thing I want to show you is if you want to get a cookie, you can do console.log uh, document cookie. So I'm just going to console.log.document.cookie. And if we run that, if you look down here at the console, hello equals true, do something once equals true, person equals true, uh, you cannot get one cookie at a time. All the cookies basically get stored on, in one string file. So when you get your, the cookies, you get them all at once, and then you would have to have extra code to parse out exactly what cookie you want to use if there's only one that you want to use for that, that use case. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is how to delete a cookie. So to delete a cookie, you just set the cookie to have a, an expired expiration date. So um, right here, I, I pass in person equals, and it's not going to be, before it's person equals bow, and now we're just doing person equals because we don't want it to equal anything, and then we put an expiration date that's already expired, and then you have to make sure to use the exact same path. So we see it right here, person equals bow, but if we run that, and then if I refresh this, you can see now it's completely gone, it's been deleted. Okay, well thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.